Thank you, Lena. Jurors are about to resume deliberating in Glynn County. They could reach a decision sometime today. They'll have to decide if this was a case of self-defense or murder in Ahmaud Arbery's shooting death last year. Father and son Greg and Travis McMichael grabbed guns and chased the 25-year-old in a pickup truck after spotting him running through their neighborhood in February of 2020. A neighbor, William Roddy Bryan, joined the chase and recorded this video of Travis McMichael struggling with Arbery and then shooting him with a shotgun. News for Jazz reporter Ashley Harding joining us now live outside the Glynn County Courthouse. Ashley, local law enforcement agencies are preparing for whatever verdict the jurors reach. They certainly are. Jennifer and Vic, good morning to you both. They cannot get into specifics about what their plans are, of course, but safety is definitely the top priority now that the sun is up and more people are starting to arrive here at the Glynn County Courthouse. I just want to show this to you right here. This again goes to show you the level of public interest. You see all these national media outlets lined up, ready to shoot video of people, the key players who make their way in over here. But I also want to draw your attention to the Glynn County Courthouse itself. You can see See that law enforcement is here. They are making their presence known right out in front. And of course, we've been showing you the barricades there as well. So if things do change, the Glenn Unified Command does have a plan in place. And the captain told News for Jacks they are definitely preparing for the worst, but hoping for the best as well. I, well, just due to operational security, I don't want to get into any details of the actual planning. Uh, you know, but we're still doing the same things. We're monitoring social media. Uh, you know, and right now there's no credible threats of civil unrest or violence. You know, we are promoting peace and, uh, you know, you can uh, assemble, and have that freedom of speech and get your message out and do it peacefully. And that's what we've uh, that's what we've been asking for people to do. And, uh, and up to this point, it's been great. And last night, some of the same people we expect to see back here today did gather for a prayer vigil in front of the Glynn County Courthouse. Clergy members joined them as they sang, lit candles, and also prayed for the families involved, the jury that will be deliberating, that are now deliberating, rather, and the community at large. Now, again, jury deliberations are expected to get back underway in a little less than 30 minutes, of course, at 8.30. And there had been discussions about the court possibly recessing earlier today if the jury cannot reach a verdict, but the Glynn County Sheriff's Office says deliberations will continue Friday and Sunday if that is what is necessary. Live in Brunswick, Ashley Harding, Channel 4, The Local Station.